video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a very simple pattern, actually one you probably already played, right, left, right, left, right, left, and apply it so that you have tons and tons of different fills on the drum set. Also, if you dig concepts like these, please check out my book, Tactical Drumming Groove Survival Guide. And also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, so let's dig into this thing. It's pretty simple concept, but the amount of fills that you can do with this is pretty massive. So um, what you're gonna do very simply is play right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. So you play it for one full bar, right? Four sets to 16 notes. Right, left, 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 stop. Right, so if I play that on the snare drum, it's just one, two, three, four, stop. Right, or one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the stop. Now, the thing that's going to make this sound cooler, I guess, in the generic fill, which is typically going. Right, and then right back into the into the groove, right? Just digga 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 boom. If you have you know four or more toms or whatever, you can just kind of going down the line. Is to give it that variety that I play at the very beginning. Is that you're going to start kind of experimenting and mixing that up, right? So the first thing I like to do is of course start with fours. What we like what we just did, right? Or going around the drums by fours. Then go around the drums by twos and making sure you're always going right, left, 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 right. Then what you can do is take just your right hand and now move that around the drums, right? So I might say play the first beat on each of the toms. So in this case, two, ready, go. Right, and that's gonna put me back in my groove. Then maybe say play two beats on each song. Right, and then moving on from there, right? And so basically the idea is that you're gonna keep experimenting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna break that up and kind of mix up and create my own patterns, right? So one pattern might be, I don't know, uh, something like this going. Okay, let's try that again. So it's just going. The idea is that my hands are just going right, left, right, left, right. And what I'm thinking is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. And so as I experiment with that, I'm going to come up with a few patterns that say I like, or in your case, that you like, and you're like, oh, this one's really cool. And then you play that one over and over again and master. I'll show you one that I personally like a lot. I use all the time, sounds like this. It goes one, two, ready, go. Right, so I might incorporate into the groove, so. And then I can just keep experimenting with that even more, right? Move my hands around a lot of different ways. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to close it out by playing one more time, kind of a mixture of different sounds uh, on the toms.